Eighth graders, we are going to start a new song called Legends of Glory. It should be in the Schoology um, music folder in your class now. So make sure you take a look at it and print it off, do what you need to, or maybe you already have it because you picked up your packet. All right, this song, we're going to start at measure nine. And at measure nine, you're going to see that as we move forward in part one, there's many dotted quarter notes. Now, if you forgot, or if you just need a refresher, dotted quarter notes get a beat and a half. And in this case, the dotted quarter note is happening at the beginning of every measure. So in your head, you're gonna think one and two while you're pulling the bow. Um, so let's just practice this together. Let's practice pulling the bow on a D string, and then um, we're gonna do a dotted quarter note followed by three eighth notes. And we're gonna do it four times. You can join me after the first time if you want to watch and listen first. One and two and three and. 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 Good, so you're going to need to be very, very um, clearly doing this rhythm for Legends of Glory throughout the song. Let's take a look at measure 25, the six measures there. You're seeing three slashes through the stem. And in this case, this means we're going to do tremolo. And if you recall, tremolo is when you shake your bow at the tip. This also is for violin and viola in third position. Um, that's a great way to make a quieter sound is just going up the instrument to the E note. So let's set our E down. We're going to set our bow at the tip and we're going to go ahead and practice 25 through 30 using the shimmery tremolo bow, nice and quiet. So find that note. Here we go. One and two and ready, go. One, two, Three, next measure, one, two, three, next measure, one, two, three, one, two, up to G, one, two, three, F sharp, two, three. And then of course we go into the next section. One more time, everybody. I was a little out of tune, so I'm gonna work on that. I have my snark on today to really check my tuning. 25, let's go. One, two, three. 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 Good. Now tremolo, just a reminder, it's just a little wiggle. It's a wiggle of the hand, release the pinky. Just let it wiggle, I like to say, let the bird fly. I used to call this bird on a wire when I taught it. So the bird is no longer on the wire, it's flying right above it. You can do that as well, cellos and basses. Just relax the hand. Cellos, I am using my son's cello today to teach you some shifting. And you're gonna have to really think hard because I bet those tapes will help you, but I won't be using tapes to help you discover where your hand goes. So listen carefully, making sure you know what to do. So right now we need to work on the, the many shifts we have to do at measure 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, so take a look at measure 16. It starts on open A, you go to G. Go ahead and play this with me. We'll take each note, one note at a time. So this is measure 13, 14, 15, 16 in Lord, sorry, Legends of Glory. So first note is open A, next note is G, next note is B, next note you shift to D, Put your three fingers down, cross to one on the D string. I want you to shift up to fourth position, C on the D string. Cross over, stay there, one, E, 
F sharp the next and then open A shift back to D first finger and go right back up to F sharp harmonic So you're moving, you're using some of the D string notes up in fourth position, okay? And you're going between, you're using fourth position plus the harmonic and third position to play that D. Let's do it one more time slow so you can really navigate where your fingers go. So first note, again, is pretty easy at 16. A, G, then B. Shift to D, third finger E, stay there, cross one finger, shift to fourth, is tricky you need to make sure you know what you're doing now go to measure 25 so 25 we start in um, second sorry third position so first finger on the D three fingers go down here for the note E and this is the tremolo section where we shimmer we just wiggle our hand very lightly back and forth we can see at the tip just nice and easy and let's go ahead and play this one, uh, this section. So going from 25 to 33. One and two and go. B, e, two, three, D, two, three, E, two, shift, replace first finger, three, G, F sharp, shift, whoops. mistake there. Start at 29. Let's play it together. 29, so we're up in fourth position on the note G. One, two, three, F sharp. Now, just a three. Make sure C is natural. All right, so careful on this section, making sure you are playing everything correctly. All right, see you later. Okay, we are starting right now at measure 33. You're gonna be needing to shift to fourth position at measure 36. Right in the fingering if you need to, you're gonna go from C natural up to E. Um, and E is there, E and then F sharp. And then you're gonna have to, at 41, go to third position. So this is where your first finger's on the D and your third finger's on the E. Let's start at 33. One and two and ready, play. One and two and three. Up, bow, up. This is take number eight. I'm trying to play measures nine through 57 without making a mistake, and I can't do it. I keep making a mistake. Ah! 
Let's try it again, Miss St. Ors. And you guys, this is your first time maybe trying to do it. Careful you're shifting, make sure you use C natural and let's hope I make it through. Number eight, it's gonna be a winner. I'm gonna relax, here we go. <laughs> One and two and ready, go. One and two. mistakes in there but this is a tricky part but you know we've been playing in this area with La Cinque Ten and with Air Varier for you guys it was Petit Bourre so practice it carefully it's really fun so um it's fun because you get to move all around the fingerboard you guys are getting so good all right hopefully this helps see you later bye